Hi guys, I wanted to stop and uh, make a quick video. Haven't made a video in a moment. I think since the first of the year came in, I made a video. But um, gonna try my hand at making a totally fresh mango salsa. And here's everything that um, I see that the recipe calls for to make this mango salsa. I have the mango cilantro, lime, lemons, colorful sweet peppers, my Vidalia onions, some people use spring onions, whatever kind of onion you like. I like the Vidalia onions. And um, also I already have jalapeno peppers in the fridge. So. I'm going to take all those things and I'm going to cut them up and I'm going to make me some mango salsa to enjoy this weekend with uh, my different foods that I eat. Uh, the last time I had it, um, I had it over my chicken. I had the mango salsa with the jasmine rice and baked chicken. It was, when I say it was good, it was good. I really enjoyed that. I'm, I'm really enjoying fresh, fresh foods. You know, the taste. And the lightness of fresh foods. Because when you tend to buy processed foods and everything, it's so heavy. You can tell the difference when you start to eating fresh foods versus, you know, pre-made foods. You know, all these processed foods. You can tell the difference in your food. Even with food that you, when you do a garden and you get um, fresh peas out of your garden. And you cook those peas. Go to the store. Give your, Do a test. Go to the store and get you some um, frozen peas. Which frozen peas, if you're going to buy them out of the store, are the best peas. Frozen or dry peas. But just go to the store. Get you some peas. Cook you a small pot of store-bought peas. And then cook you the peas that you got out of your own garden. Okay? Cook them both. And I promise you, there will be a big difference. Of uh, the summer before last, when I had a garden, and I would make the cucumber and tomato um, salads, you could tell the difference in the cucumbers and tomatoes that I got from the store versus the cucumber and tomatoes that I got out of my own garden. You know, there was such a freshness. There was such a the quality of the, of the ingredients that I got out of my own garden. And I loved it. I truly, truly loved it. And this summer, Lord willing, I am planning to have me a beautiful, nice garden full of herbs, tomatoes, peas. I want it all. If it grows, I'm going to try to plant it. So the thing is where I'm going to plant it. But um, I'm feeling good right about now. Um, so yeah, just wanted to share that with you guys. If I could have chickens. And stuff. I probably have chickens in my backyard to have my own fresh eggs and my own chickens. To... I'm going too far now. <laughs> but that's about it. Uh, love you guys. Just want to share this quick video with you. I hope that you all are being blessed. And um, stay positive. Stay motivated. Stay encouraged. Um, and remember that we are all overcomers. No matter what you are faced with in life, you can't overcome it. It's a matter of how you choose to overcome it. Be blessed. Peace.